wonder if it's positive. Can I do a screen share so that in case I do want to go to the extra effort to edit this for John? Oh, it'll allow me. So I just do screen two. Cool. Okay. And there's Scotty and Samu. I like keeping us in there. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Johnny. So, yeah, let's show Johnny that maybe that's it. Let's just show Johnny where we're at with the stats. But I got to go in here. This was approved so fast unexpectedly, Johnny. So go here. Oh, right. I got to put this one on hold right away because that's supposed to be your video. I did not watch three seconds of expert secrets. Boom. Perfect. So I'll do this social sharing video and insert it in there. Okay, so let's see if there's anything, any results it's gotten. Nope, zero dollars. Let's see, video views is what we should be looking at. Okay, not yet, that makes sense. There's only, I think, 4,700 people in that audience. So now, just because for Johnny's sake. So this is interesting. You can see that these are the two that are doing the best. They're doing identical, which is pretty bizarre. Mm -hmm. Look at this. It's almost identical. Identical number of tech 10 second views. Like it's, just, it's identical, identical cost. And it's the cheapest that, you know, it, it was doing better than even 1212. With video views by quite a bit. This was 0 0.01, 0 0.02. Yeah. On, yeah, well, let me show you. Let me show you guys here. Okay, what am I doing here? Okay, I'll change it for yesterday. Yesterday. So yesterday we were doing, yeah, this campaign here. 12, 12 Abraham views that I just shut down this morning. Cool. Look at that. It was 0.004. That means we're paying twice as much money for the 12, 12 primer campaign mm. that's why um anyway anyway it's all good that's why i wanted to do retargeting on get something out with retargeting with 1212 so i could turn it off which i just did uh because that's replacing it now so i temporarily put the primer off hold took it put it on hold and put the budget in there instead let's make sure it's the same budget performance and clicks. Yeah, 1056. So yeah, and even look at this yesterday. Cost per impression, cheaper on AAA than 1111. Link clicks, 1111. They're almost identical, but 1111 is getting more late link clicks. And, and unfortunately, there is no place to give an email address, just the way it is. And yeah, and it's interesting. It's like, look at this. Sorry, on video views. On 1212 Abraham video views, same budget, but less video views mm. see so it's the same amount of money was paid but we got 1000 views at 95 percent same amount of money 4000 on this and 4000 on that so 11 11 and triple a it's ironic because all it takes is anonymous is my heart and soul it's the thing i created mm. and then what i did is create another organization or platform whatever you want to call it for you in 11 11 and they're getting it it's got all the same elements in it the same purities in both and interestingly enough, same audiences, slightly different message, and it's appealing to people equally, and it's costing us the same amount. So these are our two main primary funnels. Yeah. And from there, now we know we can go really just through these two since they're getting the most, and it's this, you know, the same kind of thing. I can't. That's why John didn't deliver um, a version of the AAA. So that's what really we should be doing because we're getting way more people that we can – See, right now there's 4,200 people only in this audience to put a retargeting message to. Mm -hmm. But if it was on this one, it would have been like more than that. 
potentially anyway. So I think potentially four times that. So what was I trying to say? Just that this is really exciting. The ads are doing so well that we could justify not turning them off. Mm -hmm. Just putting our smaller budget into it. And uh, this is what's interesting. And these are the video of me, by the way, you know, when I'm passionately talking about the big book, there's 10 different edits mm -hmm. in both of in, in this. And this is 10 different edits of different episodes of the show. So my edits mm -hmm. clearly are working. Like my edits are because watch, this is how I know they're working. With all the 10 edits, there was a total of 4,700 people played, right? At least three seconds of it. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Look, 4,600, 4,600, about the same, right? 4,600 people click the video. And of those 4,600, there's four, it says 4,700, 4,200 people, 4,300 people watch the entire video. Wow. And both of ours, that means wow. truly the video edits I did were amazing equally amazing in both of them. And I know why, because I'm at, I know how to edit for what's enrolling and exciting and passionate. And so that interesting, these are show episodes and people are watching the whole thing. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. That's so now, so my point here is based on these stats, if we're like, what's the cheapest amount of money we can pay Facebook to get us the most amount of results we're looking for, meaning most click clinks, I'm sorry, the most amount of video views here is what we're looking for, for the cheapest amount of money. And then the retargeting ad, you know, yes, it can be, you know, the ones I asked Johnny to do, I wanted one version for all four of the platforms. It's retargeting, retargeting showing more about this to keep, keep them engaged, engaged with, with us, us, right? Whether they click the link or not, there's, you know, that's great if they do, it's great if they don't, it's keeping them engaged with us. Mm -hmm. right showing them the social sharing video concept and like that's branding mm -hmm. so they now we know we can go without through AAA, 1111 and then boom power offer mm -hmm. go straight to power offer we don't have to keep doing all this stuff like just warm it up a bit right and then bam yeah warm it up a bit and bam in fact maybe what we end up doing is if they watched the intro videos of the, whatever those were of me, plus if they watched even three seconds of any of the social sharing videos, whether it was the big book one, the asking is given one, the expert secrets one, the one thing one, even if they just watched three seconds of this, this retargeting ad, mm -hmm. boom, power offer, right? Yeah. I think that would be better. In other words, they see the unique social sharing video concept. That's our proof. That's a, yes. Yeah. And right? then we don't have to. And then it's it. set up because then what's happening is they're booking 1111 calls with you. Yeah. Right. And what are you doing? You're talking to them about me. Oh, the guy that they've already seen. Yeah. And then you're booking power offer calls. Mm -hmm. And you're talking about me, the guy they're already seeing. Yeah. So it makes yeah. it so you, you don't feel like you're selling. Yeah, and then this way we don't have to feel like right now we got to flood our page with testimonials. Like, oh, no, we don't need any. We don't need any but, with this but, system. But I'm the ultimate testimonial. That's so right, and being... they're getting to the test. That's the that's the thing. We're we're not throwing our testimonials online like everybody else does because we got a story and a thing, a, a unique methodology, and all this shit that we meet all the criteria of Joel Irway's mini webinar. Like I said, we've mm -hmm. the unique methodology, unique system that people see it and they understand. They go, "That's what I want." Yeah, that's what we got here. So we don't have to have all these stupid testimonials. The, the social sharing videos are, are better than a testimonial. You're seeing real people share the value they're getting inside a community that's very unique. Mm -hmm. And now you're seeing our power offer. Yeah, and Scott's the guy that created 1111, 1212, this power offer, everything. Mentored yeah. me from here to, to the point where I'm like a self-employed person. And I used to be a social worker, grief counselor. And there's no way this is going to happen. And isn't that why you're here? Here's how he did it. Create all these video platforms. It was so important for me to get comfortable on video, even if I had nothing to sell is what he told me. Be authentic. Don't be selling. Just document your journey. And just that's what we're doing every day. 
In fact, let me remind you the stats because memory is not reliable. It was in my mini webinar that you watched that had you get here. I've done 600, uh, you know, sh you know, shows on my platform, multi-camera. I've done this many social sharing videos. I've done this many, uh, produced this many shows in my studio for this many of my guest, guest hosts on my platform. Mm -hmm. And um, I video is the backbone of everything. That's what this offer is about. And that's what we're going to be teaching you, how to get comfortable with video, but in a way that it's so easy to get comfortable with video because you just got to be, you know, comfortable with being uncomfortable with the fact that you're going to let people know, you know, who you yeah, are, who you are, right? For example, that look at my Sona video and the Sona video, you edit that and that uh, you take a clip in there. And when we do actually talk about, you know, our webinar, you know how we're going to do it? When, when like when we want to give it to Johnny, the new webinar, I already know we're going to play Armin's webinar. We could do it right now if you want, but I know you don't want to. We're going to we play his webinar, and I will stop it, and and I'll just replace what he says with what else uh, with what comes to us, and then I'll tell you exactly what slides to come in, that we should be coming up with that are the best thing we could do that resembles our truth based upon how he's even doing his slides. Yeah. Right. And you know what I like about it? Our production has to be at least as good as Armin's, not better. It's got to look as same production quality, same sound, same amount of pictures, same everything, same production quality, mm -hmm. right? Same enrollment, excitement. Like his is exciting. You want to, I, I mean, I, I hung out to almost the end, right? And I'm sure if I was a real prospect, I would have hung out to the end. Mm -hmm. So that, and that's great because we can look at something that isn't particularly the best or, or you know it's it's just something we can do it's like we could totally do this we could pull off this quality yeah